We don't have the All broadcast. Right, so we lights. had some updates, Rob G. We got some updates on uh, the Dan Hurley to the Lakers uh, situation. So why don't you give us those? We got a pair of updates, and depending on your perspective, it's either good or bad news. Okay, first off. Hmm. ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski reported during the pregame show for Game 1 that Hurley is flying to Los Angeles to meet with Lakers brass, specifically Rob Palinka and Jeannie Buss tomorrow. Yeah. So it, the hope is they'll be able to iron out, to a, iron deal out a deal right there in yeah. person tomorrow. However, okay. Uh-oh, here we go. If you are a Huskies fan, Fox Sports college basketball analyst John Fanta, he's the one who reported earlier today that Hurley had told his team directly at practice. I'm not going anywhere. No, he told oh. them that he is talking with the Lakers. Okay. Full disclosure, he was the guy who had it. He had the scoop. Reported about an hour ago that the University of Connecticut, in the wake of this whole Lakers situation, has offered Hurley a lucrative new contract that would make him mm-hmm. one of the highest paid coaches in the country. One of you said, there you go, Chris. There you go. You, know you, you heard the word, Chris. I heard <laughs> yep. it too. Yep. One of is not going to get you. Nope. Not going to get it done. And, and Rob, not one yeah, of. I don't know. If and he shouldn't be one of. He nope. should be the highest. Period. Let, let's see if this change. It also features, according to Fanta, quote, significant widespread benefits. Whatever. There's that only means. one problem, Rob G. Have you ever been to Stores, Connecticut? No. Okay. I have. Ain't, ain't much, much going on, ain't much Chris. There other than you, Chris. Am I right? <laughs> ain't no, no you, Stores, you're Connecticut. Right. I'm but telling you. I think you. they like. Remember, he was talking when K- Kentucky wanted him during. You know, when Calipari uh, left. You mean got pushed out? About, oh, I'm sorry. Well, yeah, right, exactly. Um, but you know, there was the talk. Oh, his wife loves the East Coast. They're they're both from the East Coast, so. I don't know. It'll be interesting, Rob. And I told I'm you. I'm from this, the East Coast, and I love Los Angeles, and I love the right, West Coast. But this wasn't my theory, but like I said, I talked to some people around the league, and they they felt this way, like this could be a play. And not that he's not, wouldn't seriously consider the Lakers, but it might be a play also to, to get more money. Or but, at but, least but, it could even end up that way, even if it's not a play. But it, it didn't even have to be a play. Like, they're not going to let their coach go without offering something. You know what I mean? Yeah. But but to me, Chris, if you really going to stay at UConn and all that, you could have let them know you're talking to the Lakers, see what they he come did. to you. No, no, no. I'm saying without it being public is what I mean. That's why I think there's a good chance well, it's coming. Once it once it went public, what no, I'm mean? saying, like, you know it, what I mean? I'm, right? But I'm saying, oh, he may have told. We don't know. We know he told his team today. But I'm saying, if you really want to stay at UConn, UConn it, you, you might not want to just put it put it out there. Let the people need to know. Hey, I, I'm going to go to fly there or whatever, you know. And then if if it's about them trying to come to the table, I'm just saying, I think the Lakers got a good shot at them. That's all. I I I I think it's interesting. I, I'm not sure where it's at. Um, I think it. I think they got a shot. I, I, it's probably fifty fifty to me right now in my mind, but I don't think it's the best job for him. But you know, it's you know you want to go into a situation on the other hand where you can win. So, Rob G, um, what do you, what do you got? I, I just got a question for you guys. So yeah. the report was that they're going to make him an offer, or they're having him an offer, UConn that is, to make him one of the highest paid coaches in the country. Are you surprised that he already isn't one of, or if not the highest? Because according to USA Today. As of April 1st, Hurley was only the seventh highest paid coach in college basketball, and he makes almost just more than half of what number one makes, which is Bill Self. What does Self get? Self makes $9.6 million a year, yep. and Hurley makes right around five. I think the Lakers going to offer him at least 10 I mean, I know the Lakers are cheap. And, remember that, but that, remember right. they offered Shashevsky eight million a year in what was that two thousand four or twenty? Yeah, so two thousand four, twenty years ago. I mean, eight million then was was what twenty million now, something like that. And you got and you got to remember too, because they they're a mom and pop op- operation, the right? Lakers. But they were a mom and pop. You know, no, in I know. I'm just I'm too. just saying, like they because because they're not trying to pay people. Coaching. I think the thing is they're gonna. I think they're gonna offer him at least ten. If and, and I'm guessing more, but he's going to have the security. I believe Rob, where he's not like 
you know, I, I, I don't like I was saying yesterday, if they hired Reddick and the next two years they go out in the first or the second round, um, I think there's a chance Reddick could get fired after that. Um, if Hurley takes over and Rob, they go in the first or second round, he's not getting fired. No, right? it's, no, it's no. It's viewed as, hey, he kept us winning with LeBron here. We were good. Yep. And then when LeBron's gone, it's like, okay, this is our, you know, like, I agree. he's our guy, I, and t- right? He's a two-fold coach. Yep, yep. Right? Absolutely. Whereas Absolutely. J.J. wouldn't be, especially if it didn't work out. It right. would be like, okay, be uh, another, we tried it, it yep. didn't work out. And I also think, Rob, and I'm not trying to paint LeBron like, oh, he's going to be some problem or whatever. But the thing in Miami, you, you remember, they wanted Spolstra out of there the first. You remember when LeBron bumped into Spolstra and, you know, on the way to the huddle or something like that, and it was a huge deal. And, they, oh, God. The Pat Riley stood flat-footed and said, look, if you're going to win championships here, it's going to be with him. Right. And you the have no when he choice. replaced Stan Van Gundy, uh, Right? And Riley took over? When Riley that, replaced Stan. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't a situation like that. Riley was like, no, well, no, he's Riley the coach. No, no, Riley was like, he's the coach, right. period. And I'm saying, I I think more teams, now I get it, every front office doesn't have the clout of a Pat Riley, but still, like, if, if they give Hurley that type of contract, Rob, and he's clearly there for the long haul, then I think, you know, players, whoever it might be, they got no choice but to fall in line. And more teams should do that because you have to empower your coach, you know, in front of your players so they know, okay, he's the coach. Listen to him. You know, if you're going to win, it's going to be with him. And I think that's – But a lot of teams don't do that. You know, they're wishy-washy. Yep. and Because guys are trying to save their jobs, right? Yep. It is about survival, Chris, and unfortunately – Yep, yep, yep. Speaking of survival, Dallas just trying to hold on and survive. I got them down 42-24, uh, now 20-26, but uh, 44-26. So right now all's well for Boston, although Jason Tatum, Rob, struggling. Uh, he had three turnovers in the first quarter. I like Tatum. I really hope he plays well. Um, but, you know, winning is the most important thing for him. Hey, 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 Chris, oh, here we go. The money's the same. Stores Connecticut or Tinseltown, La La, and you're Hurley. What are you doing? If I'm Dan Hurley, if he if they give him a contract with the Lakers that is, again, plenty of security, it's my show. The front office ain't, you know, you do your job for sure. But don't be coming in there telling me who to play, all that. I, you know, I, I, if I'm Hurley, I'm getting all this clear, Rob. It's my team. Right. All right? It's not LeBron's team. It's not Palinka's team. I'm the coach. Um, And they give him that security. Money's even. I might make the Lakers pay me more. Because one thing he can say, Rob, I know – I got a job for life in Connecticut. I don't know that with y'all, even if I have the long-term deal. So you say, so, so you're remember staying. they got rid of John Beeline after one year. He wasn't even there a year, Rob, in Cleveland. And he was a good coach. He wasn't Dan, Dan Hurley. No, he, he didn't win anything. Yeah, he no, was a good coach. But, but, but you know, yeah, he was, yeah. Um, so I think, um, I mean, I'm just guessing what he's doing. I, I would probably go to the Lakers, but I I want them to give me more money because there's less security, and I think the Lakers will. But so, if, yeah, I, it, it Rob G, same money. Are you going well, to? It Lala? Sounds like Chris saying if it's the same money, he's staying in UConn. Right. I just think that he had, and, and I'm not I'm I'm not saying what I would do. Obviously, I I wouldn't oh, right, be in stores th- to begin that's with. That's just your. But yeah, just trying to be in his shoes. I think secure. Don't you think it's a big deal that he knows he can have a job at UConn for the next twenty years? Whereas with right. the Lakers, I mean, yeah, they can give you the security, but bottom line is, if it doesn't work out, if the players tune you out or whatever, 
Which is possible, guys. But but one factor though, Chris, it's very possible is the NIL money and what you have yeah, to deal you with. Have to deal with that. I they, agree. That's a bigger thing, and that's why some of these coaches will be going the other way on yeah. this. Chris, I do agree and I, with I, that. I, that. That's a headache. You got to raise money. You got to beg yep. uh, donors and all that boosters, kids, Chris. You at the, the whim kids, of eighteen year old kids. Yes, like like that. I think that's a part. Where you go, I'm good. I won. You know what? And then, you know, his dad, they got from a legendary, uh, his dad was, you know, was a legendary coach and his brother yeah. uh, is a good coach. And then all that. And you look and go, how can I change my profile, Chris? How do I? And it, that would be your Larry Bird. I mean, uh, Larry Brown. Only one coach has done it. Right. Right. Well, and he's also said he wants to coach in the NBA. There you go. So if he's if had a dream of it, right? NBA, yeah, I mean, do you want to go to be, you want to go to Charlotte? You want to wait for that job? Well, that's the thing. Like we talked about the challenges with the Lakers, but there's challenges anywhere. You go to a bad team, the challenges can I can I make these guys any good? Right? And and Chris, most of the time when jobs are open, it's because teams are bad, right? Right. 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 So now nah, it, 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 I mean, look, they, if the money's equal, I can't, I can't blame him for, for taking that Lakers job, but it, it'll be interesting to see what he does. Uh, 